Good day, everybody. I am going to be going over the final project. So for our final exam, I want to make sure you guys have all the details. Um, and this is mostly going to be for the remote learners, but anybody can, of course, watch this. So what I want to view, and we'll present this, and I'll try and get right to the point. Any questions, please email, call, get a hold of me. All right, this is your final project. This is it. Um, make sure you're getting everything in uh, this week, and then you can focus on the final. I think the final should be a good project and one that shouldn't be um, overly long. I don't think it should take you the two. I think the class periods that you'll have should be more than enough time, more than enough. So this is what we're doing. Um, here's, uh, you know, the objectives and the standards that we're looking to. We're using technology. We're writing an informative explanatory text to examine and convey complex ideas, concepts. Uh, you're organizing this content. Um, you're going to present these in some way, okay, in some form, in the style that you're going to do it. So the final exams fourth period is monday june 7th from 8 16 to 9 39. sixth period tuesday june 8th from 9 44 to 11 04 and fifth period is wednesday june 9th from 10 06 to 11 29 so you know when they're going to be all right if you are a remote learner because you've chosen to be a remote learner you do not have to come to the final exam okay so you do not have to come if you're a remote learner all right um an important lesson for Maury is this idea of devoting yourself to loving others. Devote yourself to your community around you and devote yourself to creating something that gives you purpose and meaning. Okay, This is part of what Maury is trying to give, the idea of giving back to others. And the quote is the inspiration for the assignment. I hope you take this seriously, but I also hope you take it to heart. Um, there are many things you can do in your life, but helping others, you'll find out, is the most rewarding. When you help somebody else, you've done something for somebody else, you just feel better. You do. So keep that in mind. Now, hopefully this is another way to get you thinking in that process. So group or individual. All remote students are to do the individual project. Okay. The individual project is, um, you know, there's some slight differences between them. So basically we're going to skip down to here, right there. All right. And we're going to go back. So, <laughs> so we're skipping to each individual will create a charity that will be beneficial to some segment of society. This charity needs to be based on a serious concern in our society. If at all possible, connect the charity to the community of Ashland. This can be an offshoot of another charity. For example, Steve Bracken, who was in and we talked to him at the gym, runs uh, his family runs a charity called Trample ALS, where the funding raised goes to the larger ALS charity. So Maury stresses the idea of giving back to the community as a way to enrich a person's life. And that's what his family has chosen to do. So you're going to think of something, hopefully maybe there's something close to you, uh, maybe a loved one. Uh, you know, I, my grandma had Alzheimer's, so therefore there's that. Um, I grew up with a cleft lip and palate, so uh, Operation Smile has also been one that, I would, that I've would uh, i contributed to, along with a myriad of others, okay? But you can, I'm just saying if, if you know some people, maybe with cancer, of course, people have been stricken by something that has impacted your life, I would choose that because it's going to make it more personal to you. It'll make it better. <laughs> So um, this is for groups. Groups do not worry. Again, re remote learners do not have to worry about this. One, okay. Um, so first thing you need, a charity name and purpose, the mission statement. Each group or individual will need to name their charity and design a mission statement for the charity. All the mission statement needs to focus on is the purpose of the charity. So what is your purpose? And I would encourage you to make that purpose one that is focused on either Ashland City, County, or Ohio. I, I think keeping it local is pretty cool. Um, but if you have to branch it out, you can. So what is the purpose of this charity? All right. Your slogan or mascot. Come up with a slogan for the charity. The group will need to identify if the slogan uses logos, ethos, or pathos in persuading people to contribute to the charity. Also, you'll need to have a mascot symbol for your charity. So you'll have a slogan. How is that slogan? Is it maybe more logical? Is it more, uh, is, is it something that's more uh, trustworthy built? Or a lot of times your slogan is going to be emotional. So pathos will be it. But again, that's on you. <clears throat> and then you'll exp you have the mascot a symbol. I'll show you some examples later on. Explain minimum a paragraph. A mask, how this mascot connects to the charity and what persuasive technique it connects with. <clears throat> Objectivity. Each group will need to present five facts about this charity to the class. For example, say the charity is to help battered women. 
and you need statistics to give facts about the need for such a charity using various statistics concerning battered women. And then identify where you found these facts. Give me a link, something that shows I can go and find these facts that they're from a credible source. All right. Uh, and again, if you're doing it more local, if you can find local facts that tie in, that would be great. And now these charities, of course, can be something that not just it can be people oriented. It can also be animal oriented, too. So uh, keep that open. It's, it's a wide spectrum. Song. Pick a song to be the charity theme song. In a well-written paragraph, the group needs to be able to explain the reasoning behind choosing this particular song. You can, you'll need to connect to the audience with logos, ethos, or pathos. Think about how music was used in some commercials that you've seen. Um, if you've ever seen uh, the one about animal abuse within the arms of the angels, and you can see, I mean, it's the, the how the song is being played, the words of the song, you know, then also you have the pictures also, so the emotion. Most of your songs is going to connect with emotion, okay? Because that's what really brings people in, that emotion, okay? So, but it can connect with other ones too. But I think pathos will be the one that you're probably going to use the most on that. Individual commercial ideas. So this is just the individual. So this will be for the remote learners. The individual will need to come up with one anecdote, which would be a commercial idea about how this charity could help someone. You'll develop one scenario where there shows a need for this charity. Identify if the anecdote uses logos, ethos, pathos, or a combination. So you're going to come up with an anecdote. So a commercial idea. All commercials are usually are just small anecdotes, small little stories. So you're going to come up with an idea. You're not going to write out the whole commercial, but it'll be like the idea behind the commercial. All right, almost like a storyboard. This is what the commercial is going to be. And then identify, is it going to use logos, ethos, pathos, or it could be a combination of all three of them, um, you know, or two of, uh, two of the three, okay? So that's what you're going to do. <clears throat> you do not have to do the group one because, again, remote learners do not have to do the group one. They do not have to do the group commercial either because you're a remote learner, all right? I will be grading on grammar and mechanics, things that we've stroked, we, we, we've we focused on all year. So... Um, capitalization, punctuation, complete sentences, sentence variety, all of them. Okay, we're going to look at all those, so that's 20 points there. Um, in the end, the complete grade will be 85 points for this final project. Uh, it slides, it, it has been given to you to use, but if you want to use another medium, that's fine. Just make sure I get it, okay, and you've covered all the bases, okay. Um, so that's, let me get out of that, and then go back to my drive. Uh, and I want to just show you this is the idea when we talk about logos. Um, here's a, a good look at some popular logos. If you see like the American Heart Association, there's the hearts with the torch. The American Red Cross, that famous symbol of the Red Cross. <laughs> well, goes right with it. The Make-A-Wish, you know, look at how it's viewed there. And the A coming out there with the star for the dot in the I. Um, big brothers and big sisters. So there's a bigger person with a smaller person together. Um, then Alzheimer's disease, you have uh, that the logo there. And I think the Humane Society has a very good one, too. I mean, they're all good. But look, these are like animals that are the outline of the United States. I think that's pretty cool. So all of these, you know, it's just things that you can look at. Okay, there's a, there's a kidney in the National Kidney Foundation, how they do that. So um, that would be something I would look at and make sure that you're doing, okay, uh, for this. Um, and finally, the last thing that I think you want to make sure that you have is make sure you on, and these are all on your final project. It, it says final exam. This is all there. Please look at it. Okay. So ethos, logos, and pathos, and what this is, these, the, the notes that you have, just to remind you, just to refresh your memory. We've done this all year. We've talked about these, all three of these. Okay. Um, I just want to also, the idea of the anecdote, which you're going to do for the commercial. Again, it's just a short, interesting story, something that's going to connect with your idea, with your charity, okay? Get people's interest. So you'll need to provide an anecdote, all right? So remember that. Um, ethos, again, is the ethical appeal. And the advertisement, using this, you're going to convince it to company or what you're trying to sell them or your, you know, your charity is more reliable, it's honest, it's credible, that you, it's something people want to give to and they feel good about giving to. A lot of times your, your ethos will be from reliable experts. So, you know, dentists, nine out of 10 dentists say Crest is better than any other product or cardiologists at the Cleveland Clinic recommend Ecotrin more than any other brand of aspirin. 
Uh, you can also do celebrity endorsements. Baker Mayfield endorses Progressive Insurance, therefore you should use Progressive as your insurance company. So celebrity endorsements are a form of ethos. Uh, as we go with pathos, uh, an appeal to emotion. An advertisement using pathos will attempt to evoke an emotional response. Okay, so you have an image of people smiling after eating a Snickers bar because, you know, it satisfies you. Other times, advertisers, they'll maybe use, uh, you know, negative emotions to get up and your back is all sore because your mattress is awful. Um, but, uh, you know, emotions such as fear, there's guilt can be used. When you see images of a starving child uh, or animals who have been mistreated, you, you feel bad, and, you know, you, you want to help out. Okay, so that's emotional appeal. Logos. Is logic reason okay? An advertisement using logos will give you the evidence and statistics you need to understand something. What a product does, you know, a thirty-two ounce bottle of Tide holds enough to wash thirty-two loads. Mm, well, that's interesting. And then Kellogg's Cocoa Puffs now contains thirty percent less sugar than the previous recipe. Hmm, interesting. Um, so it's facts. That's all it is. That's logos. And again, some of these things and then the anecdote for the individual ones, you can use a combination. Just identify the combination, how they're being used. All right. So that is everything that you need. I, I want, I think most of the times you guys will go over this. Please take your time to go over this and ask any questions that you may have on this assignment. So it's 85 points. And then again, keep apprised of the due, due dates. Let me know if you're having any issues or any problems. I'll be happy to help. Um, and please get a hold of me if there is something that, you know, you don't understand. Okay? So thank you very much. And have a great day and good luck.